A Japanese patrol aircraft has once again conducted what's being called an aggressive low altitude flight near a South Korean warship. This happened at about 2 p.m. this Wednesday in South Korea's exclusive economic zone near the nation's southernmost Yeodo Island. Just about a month ago, there was similar flight by a Japanese patrol plane, which prompted a strong protest from South Korea. We begin our newscast, newscast by connecting to our defense ministry correspondent, Park Ji Won, right now. Ji Won, what do you have for us? Daniel, a Japanese P 3 aircraft once again conducted an aggressive and threatening low altitude flight this afternoon near a South Korean warship in South Korea's EEZ near the nation's southernmost Yeodo Island. The South Korean ship was on a routine operation when the Japanese aircraft approached as close as 540 meters flying at an altitude of just 60 meters. The South Korean ship sent more than 20 messages to the Japanese aircraft, requesting the aircraft change its course as the ship was close enough to be identified and as the aircraft was flying in a threatening manner. Normally, military patrol aircraft give other countries' warships a berth of at least 300 meters in altitude and 5,000 to 9,000 meters in distance as they can identify the ship from that distance. But the Japanese aircraft only answered once, raising questions about South Korea's remarks. The part the South Korean side cannot help but will respond with self-defense measures if it continues to approach. Also, the Japanese aircraft did not answer South Korea's later questions, including the intention of the flight. And Daniel, actually, this was not the first time since last month's incident. According to the defense ministry, there were two previous similar aggressive low-altitude flights by Japan this month alone on the 18th and 22nd January. The repetition of these provocative moves by Japan raises questions about Japan's intentions of conducting similar flight patterns, although the two countries had been continuously spatting about the last month's incident. South Korea's defense ministry summoned a Japanese military attaché at 5 p.m. this afternoon to deliver strong protests. Meanwhile, South Korea's defense minister Chung kyung joo said during a press conference held earlier in the day that he thinks Japan seems to have political intentions behind such acts as Japan wants to politicize the matter, which should have been dealt at working-level discussions between the two countries, especially as the two countries have a military partnership. Well, that's all I have for now, and I will have more in the later newscast. Back to you, Daniel.